Yes guys, what is happening? And welcome back to a brand new video. Today what we're doing, we're finding out is it worth putting an induction kit on a one litre EcoBoost daily. Um, I absolutely love this car. Every time we come out in this car, we have a right laugh. And I've been persuading the owner to start modifying it. And last night, he decided to buy something. So uh, we're just gonna do a little run off and see if it's actually worth doing. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it, let's go. First things first, we're going to see if it actually makes any noise with the standard airbox. Is that that's just engine noise, isn't it? No turbo noise at all. Nothing there. Nah. Absolutely no noise. It's, I hope this works. You know, I'm I'm pumped for this. There we go. So there's. No, is it, I don't think there's actually any, is there any port, you might as well do the flyby outside, just so if there is a difference, we'll get yeah. it. But yeah, there's even revving it. Oh, right, there's no. No. and start the focus on record. Universal kit, or is it just a basic one liter eco boost? Well, one liter eco boost Fiesta. Yeah. So the only thing I can imagine is different is this math adapter, because more math's a bit different. But if it is, we'll just use that standard boy. When you go big turbo, go math. <laughs> Basically what you get, you get a lovely air uh, um, like, yep, heat shield. It looks pretty good, but yeah, decent quality that is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and then you get your like, elbow, 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 and obviously your big can in it. With the AirTech math adapter. There we go, so hopefully. Well no, this ain't can, well it's probably is can in, but it's got AirTech written on it, so yeah. it's probably a uh, what they call it. No idea. But so, moving the Jubilee Oh, would the... you look at that? See, this is why I'm too scared to put my foot down in this car. What? Because of the high boost, look, it snapped. It snapped the crossover pipe, look. What? No way. No way. It's this joint turbo, isn't it? It's just got too much power. So Honestly. why don't I put my foot down? No. Mm -hmm. Can't. No wonder no one wants to race yet. I know. What? That's probably why, because of the power of the engine. Yeah. It's rocking it left, of right course. and centre. And just that magnesium uh, turbo elbow just snapped. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to a what Garrett GT30 on that or, uh, or Bob Warner. Nah, it was it was a uh, Garrett 7669 or something like that. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's massive. It's gigantic. So you don't look like it, but under the seat shield. Yeah, it's huge. I bet as soon as you start it, it's small, isn't it? No, it spools at about 11,000 RPM. Oh. All the way up to about 22. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's a join here that's 
plastic. Um, that's cold air feed into the feeding pump, isn't it? Yeah, so that's obviously going to feed onto the can then, isn't it? So. I don't know, I don't know if you get rid of it, I don't, nah. I'm not sure. Weight reduction, right? Yeah. Do you want to go for the six second quarter more? Might get it, you know, mm. especially with them slicks you got on as well. Yeah. So yeah, that. Then the mass sensor. Just like that. Just push, just push in, pull yeah, out, push yeah? Push in that little, there's a little tab there. Mm. Come oh, on this side. I wonder if there has to be like an extension. That little grey, that little grey thing. Mm -hmm. Just clip it in. I can't do it. There you go. No. Sweet. Got a tree there. Yeah. Pull that out. Sand. You know what, you've done this before. I'm just winging it. Yeah. Obviously I had to do a little something with this when I put the turbo on. Yeah. But, it was a long time ago. First in the world. Is it? Mm. What? Oh my uh, god. Is that what? easy? What, so there's no bolts or nothing holding it in? Oh, it's literally just. It's the power when I put my foot down and it rips the rubber grommets off. It must do it. Like, does it snap that? No, no, it's meant to be like that. No so the only thing holding that airbox into place is the bonnet. My right foot. I thought it was just the bonnet. <laughs> so, yeah, that's sound. The question is do you try and start it with nothing connected? Part with the math. Can't you? No, I doubt it will turn on without the math up here. Do you know, after this video, I'm considering buying a big powered uh, Ford, man, because it's so easy to work on. Like, that then was literally like, bang, the whole lot's out. Whereas, like, on the Megane, you have to remove all, like, the cowling. And obviously, to do be a, do the nose uh, induction kit I've done, I have to take the front bumper off, wheel arch liner, all that kind of jazz. Battery out. Uh, it's a nightmare, but... Yeah, so far so good man, this looks pretty simple, hopefully we don't run into any headaches, um, but we shall see, so let's go. So let's take this box, yeah, so that's, that's this one. That's just basically a factory math housing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if uh, that's going to manipulate into that, or... Probably won't, we'll probably just have to run the filter off the end of this. Yeah, yeah. No problem, but it just looks cool, isn't it? So we have our first issue straight away. It doesn't look like the math is gonna, is gonna fit on that lot. Look at, at the opening on that, and then look at that. So what we're gonna have to use, we're gonna have to use a stock elbow. So we're gonna have to use just this bit. I know it don't look as good as the AirTech one, but we're gonna have to stick that on the end of the, yeah. So do the same thing, obviously it just puts that stainless steel. Oh, fucking, yeah. yeah so like hopefully it's big enough and we can slide it on there. If it's not big enough, we'll figure something else out. Yeah. Oh, you ain't got your car with you, got nine air filters in the building. Well, there's a couple down there, there's two down there. Look that one. Um, we should be able to get that. I reckon that one will do it, you know, that'd have mad suction. That would. Right, so there was a reducer inside it. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my god, it fits. I don't even it. need that Jubilee clip, you know. No. No, I can stay on. No, it's <laughs> def definitely won't. <laughs> so, I reckon after this, yep. there's obviously a big restriction there, the yep. noise, and there as well. So, I reckon next video yeah we'll have a replacement for that yeah and a replacement for that how would that would it just it would just be baffles and stuff like an exhaust really yeah no way and then that would be would just it, a, would a plate go on that do you think or would it, nah, it would be another it would just be a metal straight bar yeah going through there and the silicon hose on oh oh without this yeah, whatever yeah, this is going have that yeah no way so we reckon it's sound is being stopped by that and by that, so it's basically like a silencer for the for the exhaust, but in the induction part. I've never saw that before. The the all my other, all my extensions of that are in my other car. Oh, they really? Yeah, that's not here. Oh no. So everything's a bit tighter. Oh, look at that, man. Oh man. Oh, I was gonna say we got to bend it out of the way. Oh, I was gonna say. You're looking in it. Oh, where's the thingy box going to sit though? The, uh, the heat shield? That's over here. Oh, no, yeah, oh, it's over here. It's a block deep under the turbo, yeah. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Don't know where it bolts on. Maybe here? Mm-hmm. We'll see. Right then, so, the heat shield doesn't actually fit. Um, we are aware it's 
we think it's off a fiesta um it's off a fiesta. is it definitely a fiesta, yeah, fiesta yeah yep so it's basically you can't get focus, you can't get focus um oh, i couldn't find any couldn't find any um so yeah this is what we've got this is our which is our makeshift oh 100 percent. yeah so this is not being like endorsed by air tech this is not we're just literally winging. trying to wing in it yeah that's it so uh yeah this is this is what it is so we've got the pro hoses which are banging i do like them to be fair they are very nice and then we've got we couldn't use the air tech uh, math kind of bracket so we've had to whack the standard one back on and then i think on the fiestas it like the induction kit actually goes that way but because we're doing a makeshift one we've just done it there so uh yeah that's it i think we're ready to start up and see how she sounds right here we go here we go ready for start up ready for start up Whoa, we do, we do have a bit, you know, we do have a bit. Yeah, I don't want to touch that. Well, right, so we have to have a bit more sauce. He's got his extension, so he's uh, the turbo even connected. It's a heat shield, isn't it? I don't know. Now it's hot, so if I do the singe, you can get a real sound. No, no. Is there any bacon that we can stick on it or anything? Oh, that one up there is going to do you. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, this I think this is stopping sound as well. So, I'm just going to take this off, that bit off there, and then see what's going on in here. Right, so this has actually been took off. You're not going to be able to see in this, but there's little like holes, like in different places, right inside this, and it's for when the noise comes through, and it like filters it like like an exhaust would. Um, so there's like little baffles and that in there, so it, the noise just like bounces off each other in there, and then obviously then it filters out through there as like a, a less noisy kind of sound. So. Yeah, that's that one. I think you can buy a blanking plate. We will probably get no, back it's to not this. A blanking plate. It's, it's the same. Oh, just thing. hollow. Just metal, and it just yeah. goes straight. So yeah, stay tuned for that one, man. Right, and so little update. Been out in the car. Um, we are getting a little noise. Um, it's nothing major though. Um, he does feel like there's a bit of bit more oomph. Nothing crazy, but there's definitely like better through the mid range. Um, we've watched YouTube videos on this with like the same engine and that and they're getting mad suction noises but for some reason we're not getting the mad suction so we've changed the cone over to a foam filter uh, because some people reckon that foam filters are a lot more sucky um, so we're going to try that now and uh, see how we get on so right ready when you are then so we've just been out for a little drive we are getting a bit more like noises off the induction kit but we're not getting that suction noise that we're watching off these other youtubers yeah they're showing how to fit it and we're like man we've done it exactly the same so uh on this channel we tell the truth um we are trying to show you what we're actually getting whereas i don't know if that other pipe because what i'm seeing is on the on these other guys they've got this pipe's been replaced with like the full on silicone one, so I don't know if that part there is causing this so noise. This is either, it's, it's from the PCV and it's, yeah. it's it's PCV, but yeah. obviously that'll baffle that sound because it's going through the PCV system in it, so. Should it baffle the suction noise? Cause you're, not, you're not getting the suction noise with that, are you? You're just getting the little tooth as you come off. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, fine ways to make a bit more noise but uh yeah unless it's that silicon hose on the left hand side which i think that's the difference between stage one and two stage one i think is just basically the induction kit and then stage two is supposed to be the secondary pipes um yeah i don't get why it's called stage one and two it should be just 
intake polypan, got the PCV valve one. So yeah, we're just trying something else now just to see what it sounds like and uh, we'll get back to you when we've done that. So yeah, we just thought we'd do this today as a bit of fun. Um, I feel like things have got a bit serious on the McGann and that and I just want to do something a bit different. So we just thought we'd give this a blast and uh, see how it turns out. Hopefully it's, it's a bit of fun and you guys enjoy it. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think, man. If we should do more stuff like this, I think buy something random off eBay and just see what crazy crap we can do to it. Um, I think that'd be good because we wouldn't actually care then as much about the car. Um, and we can just paint it and do whatever the hell we want with it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Right, so what we're doing is, because we want a bit more sound, we're basically adding our own kind of bank, blanking plate. So we're gonna put, this is just for use for the video. We might put this back to standard after, depends how it sounds. But uh, would you recommend people doing this? Not, not a chance. No. Nah. If you can undo it. Let's fucking get it off, yeah. Glued on. Oh. Heat, isn't it? Jeez. Add your elbow. Oh, so, so, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to put a bolt inside that. Sounds so good, yeah. And then we're going to put a bolt with a little bit of rubber on the actual plate. And uh, I've got more vacuum. I hope you don't blow your car up, you know. So do I. He said he's a good friend, man. He's willing to break his car, yeah, just for the channel. So that's dedication right there. Um, so yeah, cheers for that, Aaron. If it does blow up, you're hearing this now, and you're going to hear it when it's blew up on the video. So uh, fingers crossed it don't, but we're doing this now because of all these other YouTubers that have lied about the noise in the car. So. Well, the more not a lie, it's just as it doesn't work. What? Come on, man. It should sound a bit more than that, and it the little toot. Like that. every time I let off the boost, it goes boot. <laughs> right, right then. So blanking plate. It's theoretically a blanking plate because we've blocked both ends off. So we've put took it, took the hose off, put another hose on. So there's two hoses, blanked both of them off. So basically, there's nowhere for the air and that to go. So let's go and see what it sounds like. Got it. Oh my god. Oi, what are you saying? Yes. What we're talking about. That's it. That is it. Ready? <laughs> yes. Ready? No way. <laughs> <laughs> That is mad. Right guys, so I've just kind of like got back in that after doing the, the little mod to the induction kit. Um, I'm not too sure on the blanking plate. Someone on here will definitely tell me if it's good or not to be putting a blanking plate on a car like that. Um, what we're gonna buy is, it's gonna be like a secondary intake pipe and I think it filters the noise. Obviously I showed you in that video, um, but we are gonna order the new one to that. And then there's another one at the bottom which filters the noise as well so that is going to be purchased and then we'll see what it looks like um i hope you enjoyed the video i'm trying to think of different things we can do rather than i i, I don't really want to spend money on the channel because i'm trying to develop my life in other ways like i still want to grow on youtube and stuff but i just feel like the be all and end all is just how much money can you spend on your car do you know what i mean i don't want 
the channel just to be based about spending money i want it to be about experiencing about experiencing cars and doing all that kind of stuff so without further ado i'm going to end it here if you enjoyed the video and thought it was a bit different if you enjoyed the style of it or whatever please let me know um because obviously all comments that are commented to me um i do try and take them on board and do things differently so uh, yeah just let me know what you think like share subscribe share it subscribe if you aren't already and i hope you enjoyed so see you on the next one peace